Hey, this is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific. We're at CES 2019. We are going into day three. We have seen all sorts of amazing technology. And right now we're looking at some really cool camera tech. We're at Insta360, looking at 360 degree cameras, particularly the selfie stick and the um, action cam. Right. I'm here with Max. He's going to tell us a little bit about what we're looking at, and then we're going to make our way up and see some other camera equipment. Cool. So, yeah. nice, nice to meet you guys. Um, nice to meet you. Um, what you see here is our all-new Insta360 ONE X camera, just launched in October last year. Um, it's available in the market already for $399, but what it really can do is like bring the action camera to a whole new level. So it's got built-in stabilization, which will basically um, erase the need for a gimbal anymore. You just use a software stabilization with 9 axes built in, so you get really smooth shots. Um, when you mount it on a selfie stick like this, it, what it also does is erase the selfie stick. So um, it looks like a flying camera. So if I would use it like that, um, it kind of like creates a third person view of yourself. So we gonna see people like Casey Neistat, he's been using it for his vlogs. We see videographers, we see athletes, um, just creative people who make use of that, that feature. That's really cool. So what it's doing, this camera, not only is it stabilized, but as you're doing whatever it is you're doing, you're skating, you're running, you're doing whatever activity you're doing, you're holding it up, it erases, it uses technology to erase the selfie stick itself. So it really looks like you've got almost a drone just following you, doing its thing, hovering above you, getting 360 degree shot, catching all your action. That's really cool. What kind of tech allows it to do that though? That's some pretty fancy, uh, fancy software. Right, it's actually all based on software. Like you said, it's software algorithms built in our mobile app. Um, so the real powerful thing about this camera is actually the, the mobile app, um, where you get features like time shift, where you can slow down time and speed it up again. You can get motion blur effects. You can get bullet time effects. So there's a whole bunch of uh, creative uh, things you can do with this camera. Now we looked at an action cam last year when C when Be Terrific was here. This is we come back to Insta360 all the time. Um, what is different? What's the actual advancements between last the previous model and this one? So this one has higher image resolution, 5.7K. You can also shoot at 4K 50 frames per second or go down to 3K at 100 frames per second. That's a feature that's been used a lot for like cinematic slow motion effects. Hasn't been possible before with any other um, previous camera. Um, and then also now it has an exchangeable battery, what you can see here, like you can just put out this battery, um, swap it with another one. So that's just a feature that has been requested by our community. We've been listening, we've been delivering. Um, it also has a built-in display now where you can control it right on your, on your camera. Um, so you have the full option whether you want to control it via your mobile app, whether you want to control it right in the, in, the, in the camera, both is possible now. You get a built-in SD card, um, 32 gigabyte, 128 gigabyte max. Um, so you got, really got um, a whole bunch of improvements that, that come with this new generation. Yeah. I really like the swappable battery. You know, one of the things, I do a lot of shooting, um, and the biggest problem you run into is when you have cameras that have to be plugged in to be charged. You can't have another battery on the side ready to go. Right. It, it stops production, right. brings the whole thing to a halt. So that's a really cool feature. Um, and once again, how much does something like this retail for? Right. It's $399. Um, it's available in Apple stores worldwide with an exclusive bundle. But you can also just go to our website, insta360.com. Uh, go check it out. That's really cool. So we're going to go check out other professional products that Insta360 makes. These are things that are maybe a couple steps up. People who are really looking to bring their, their photography, their videography to the next level right. using 360 degree technology. Right. So what you see uh, be behind us is actually the Insta360 Titan. Um, we just announced it um, today actually, or, or two days ago. Um, it's our really premium cinematic um, high-end camera for really high-end needs. Um, it can shoot up to 11K virtual reality content in 3D. Um, so you get a whole range of really like endless opportunities to film really premium virtual reality content. Just what's different to this camera is that the type of content you shoot here is 360 degree VR content, so you would really consume it on a headset like an Oculus Go or Samsung Gear VR. While this is more used like for traditional video that you can just export on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. So, did you say 11K? Right. That's actually 11K, um, 360 degree. Yeah, so uh, that's a whole bunch of data. So we build in like nine SD cards that will capture all of this data simultaneously. Um, and with this technology, it also enables you to get 10-bit call depth, which is super important for professionals like color grading. Um, you can do a whole things in, in, in post-production with it. Um, we also got um, uh, broadcasting features like live streaming, built-in Ethernet cable, HDMI. Um, so it really gives you like the full option whether you want to do like uh, broadcasting, filmmaking, or other applications like real estate.
So talk to me a little bit about the stitching involved. You know, obviously 360 degree video work, a big part of it is putting it all together, making it into something that's usable. Talk to me a little bit about that. Right, so stitching is a big part of the workflow and actually bottleneck of VR production these days. Um, what we introduced, or where we partnered up with Adobe is a no stitch editing, where you can basically put in that unstitched footage right into Adobe Premiere, and then Adobe Premiere would, would recognize that and give you a proxy version so you can edit it like pr uh, traditional video footage. Um, so this saves you a whole bunch of time. You can do the editing with a proxy file, and then once you're ready, you export it, and the stitching happens. So this not only saves you time, but also with, with, with editing, but also like with uh, stitching the footage together. Yeah. So let's talk about the camera a little bit. Um, for shooters uh, who are out there in professional fields, we really care about something called dynamic range. You know, for the people out there who don't know, dynamic range is how much of the lights and how much of the darks you can see before your camera blows out or sinks into sort of an inky, useless shadow. Um, what's the dynamic range on this camera? Um, dynamic range, I can't give you a, a clear number yet. Um, it's going to be ready um, around few weeks then we're gonna announce it but really like it's a whole new level for VR production because now we're using micro four thirds sensors like much bigger sensor yeah. sizes with much more color information much more depth information um, and we are able to output 10 bit uh, footage which is huge for VR production it hasn't been there before does it shoot in like a, a log mode right. we got a log mode so you can do the color grading right in and it will be premium or any other software yeah so that's really comparable to the types of professional equipment that we use when we go out shooting with our Sonys, with our Black Magics, with our Canons and things like that. I mean, that's really up there. That's really great for the professional. Right. Image stabilization is super important for virtual reality. If you watch that content on a headset, it needs to be stable. Otherwise, you will get headache. Um, that's just something research shows, and it's super obvious. What we did um, is that you don't need to use a physical gimbal anymore to stabilize your camera footage. You just use our built-in 9-axis IMU gyroscope data. Um, and it will give you like software stabilization um, that is really on level with a traditional gimbal. Um, so there's no need to do any um, post-production nightmare anymore. It's just like using that IMU data, um, synchronizing it with your um, 360 footage and you get super smooth um, cinematic uh, videos. What is this going to retail for? Um, it's actually, because it's for premium users, it's going to be retailed at 15,000 US dollar, which is a lot of money, but you know, if you think about cinema, cinematographers, like really professionals, they're willing to pay that because it's really going to simplify their workflow. People before, they have been customized rigs, like putting like eight DSLR cameras together and then, you know, synchronizing them, stitching them together on a PC is a total nightmare. Um, with this camera, really the high-end professionals, they will be able to get an easy uh, to use solution um, that also delivers great content. So Max, we got one more piece, we got the Pro 2. Tell me a little bit about this camera. So the Pro 2 is our all new, or kind of new camera for um, also professionals, but also prosumers, people um, in various industries, think about broadcasting, think about real estate, think about Google Street View photographers. Um, so it's a very versatile but powerful camera that can capture up to 8K um, 360 content, can also do stereoscopic and 8K. Um, so it's really like, it's a tool I think that makes it just easier to capture high quality 360 footage on a very high level. And um, it's, it's actually available on the market right now um, for uh, 5,000 US dollar. Now, does this have the same 10-bit 10 10-bit 10 color depth? Does it have the same image stabilization, stuff like that, as its bigger brother? It doesn't have that 10-bit 10 10-bit image um, uh, bit rate, but what it has is uh, image stabilization, flow state stabilization is the same same technology. Um, we also have a mode, a Google Street View mode, especially designed for Google Street View photographers, where you can shoot at 8K, five frames per second, and directly upload that footage um, to Google Street View. So it's making it super easy for virtual tour photographers to use that camera. Um, and we also got, for filmmakers, our Adobe plugin, where you do no stitch editing, the same with the Titan. Just like what differentiated with the Titan is that it has, the Titan has better image quality, just because we use Micro Four Thirds sensors. Yeah. What do you have here? Tell me about this unit. Right, so that's um, basically right now connecting to my camera. I just use my standard iPhone. Um, but what you see here is our remote control. So you clip that onto your iPhone, and this technology is called Farsight technology. It's kind of the same technology you also find in DJI drones, where you have like DJI Light Bridge to do the image um, video transmission signal. Um, this can go theoretically air to air up to two kilometers. Um, so it's like bringing um, 
video transmission technology to virtual reality photographers and filmmakers um, to do like long range um, video transmissions, which is super exciting. Like for think about documentary filmmakers, if you're out um, in the jungle, in the desert, and you, you don't want to be next to the camera, you want to be out of the shot, um, you use that thing um, or mount it on your drone and you get a really high uh, quality video downstream. Yeah. Is this available right now? It's available right now. It actually comes in a package in a bundle with the Pro 2. So if you buy the Pro 2, it will automatically include that Farsight system. Does it come with the Titan? Uh, Titan is also included, right. Can you buy it separately or is it only sold as a package? You can buy it separately now on Insta360.com. Um, go check it out. We have all accessories available there. What's the retail on this? Uh, retail $500. So for $500, you can position yourself where you need to be to stay out of the shot of your 360 uh, video. Um, which is pretty important. That is fantastic. This is really a cool piece of kit. If you're doing 360 uh, video work, if you're doing virtual reality work, this is definitely something you're going to want to check out. We are here at Insta360. This is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific, CES 2019. Stick around for more coverage. Be terrific.